nanotechnology. Today's lecture is the first of the series of lectures on nanotechnology. Nanotechnology, sometimes shortened to nanotech, refers to the manipulation of matter on an atomic and molecular level. It's a science, engineering, and technology conducted at the nanoscale, which is about 1 to 100 nanometers. It is the study and application of extremely small things that can be used to also the other science fields. Just how small is that? A nanometer is one pillionth of a meter. The idea of nanoscale research first started from a physicist called Richard Fuhrman in 1959. He envisaged the process in which scientists would be able to manipulate and control individual atoms and uh, molecules. In fact, it wasn't until 1981 with the invention of a special kind of microscope uh, that modern nanotechnology truly began. Even though nanotechnology has created many new materials and devices with a vast range of applications, there is always concern over these unnatural products. Many people are worried that they may pose a threat to the environment, health and safety, also known as ESS. In order to better understand and evaluate the potential harm, risk assessment has been introduced. There are also ongoing international collaboration on nano, SSS research and related policy issues. Despite the concern, nanotechnology has benefited society in unexpected ways. In the food processing industry, nanotechnology is leveraged the rent's iron deficiency, which triggers anemia. For example, by reducing the particle size in potatoes, this new technology improves the bioavailability of this nutritional ingredient without a tendency to cause color and other changes. In terms of packaging, nanomaterials are more economical and are used in raw source of products, chocolate in particular. Nanotechnology can also enhance the flavor for food on a domestic scale. We expect more smart furniture which is made of shape, memory alloys to be manufactured. But nanotechnology has much wider application than this and could also help develop sustainable agriculture. It offers great potential to strengthen the effects of fertilizer, thereby minimizing the environmental impact and boosting the productivity of plants in the soil. In the area of medicine, bioengineering have developed simple and in expensive nanoscale delivery vehicles. Conductors like carbon nanotips have been invented with varying structures. With such uh, nanotips have become increasingly attractive to researchers because of their ability to efficiently deliver across into vents. This means that higher doses of stress loaded down them can be transported from the administration size to the express related size uh, such as cancer focuses. Third, the increasing toxic size effects while increasing the treatment effects. The research team has also developed a widely accepted material that can be used to the court different services, included wood. Lattice ten blasts, as it mainly comprises of silver. Such nanoparticles can eventually kill some microbes due to the anti swapping properties. The horn process is simple, easy to apply, and more importantly, harmless to the environment. Surprisingly, nanotechnology has major implications for our health as well. By changing the metabolic rate through a particular type of protein, a bee patients are able to burn calories faster even under a high calorie diet. Therefore, treatment programs are provided for patients to lose weight by deposing of acid. 
spread in a relatively safer manner. The finding may help explain why overweight people struggle to lose weight. When they start fat is steadily fighting against their efforts to burn it enough at a particular level. Further research is mainly focused on the clinical and commercial development of therapies for obesity, diabetes, and other associated conditions such as heart diseases. In terms of cometics, the applications of nanotechnology and nanomaterials can be found in many products. There are two main uses for nanotechnology and cosmetics. The first one is that nanoparticles are commonly used as UV filters in anti-aging sun care products to avoid skin damage caught by the sun. In addition, nanotechnology has played an important role in the delivering active ingredients to the skin. The mechanism proves to improve the bioavailability of active and enhance skin hydration. The wide variety of nanotechnology applications leave no doubt that this field will only continue to get more exciting, and I look forward to seeing these developments further branch out.